The Legacy of Hope. A Great Venture by Bonaventure. Hey, Jobwa. But it's all my fault because family devotion had broken down and we have been negligent of our collective sacred duties. It is true when they say that the family that prays together stays together. Today is the last Friday before the celebration of the Passion of the Lord. When I come, we shall pray the Stations of the Cross together. Oh Job, my dear, I miss the days we prayed together and sat together to talk about God when we were courting. I have had my freedom for far too long and I failed to read the signs and times of God. Can we make our confession tomorrow before Passion Sunday? The Lord be with you. My dear people of God, today I bring you the reflection of day 38 of our Bonaventure Lenten Challenge. My name is Reverend Father Emmanuel Elike Mensa Lanyon. I am the assistant priest at Martyrs of Uganda Catholic Church. The theme for this day's reflection is divide and rule. Divide and rule. My dear brothers and sisters, unity we hear is strength. And so we hear several sayings such as, united we stand and divided we fall. The devil knows very well that division brings about weakness in anybody, in any group, in any society. And so one of the greatest weapons that the devil uses to destroy Christians is division. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11, St. Paul exhorts us to put on the whole armor of God to equip ourselves with truth, with justice, with virtues, to be prayerful. These are the ways we can keep ourselves together and united. These are the ways we can fortify ourselves and build a strong and a resilient front to counter the devil's tricks and tactics. And so in this season of Lent, we are encouraged as families, as individuals, to intensify our prayer life, our devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary through the praying of the Rosary, the reading of sacred scripture, attending Masses more frequently, more regularly, and participating in the several other devotions that we have. Let us pray individually, let us pray as a family. For the family that prays together, stays together. When we are able to pray this way, we fortify ourselves, we build ourselves, and the devil is unable to reach us, to divide us, in order to destroy us. Every member of the family is important because the devil looks at the weakest link. And so when you ignore to bring along other members of the family, the devil will surely find a way to divide and to rule. When we allow the devil to divide us, we must know that he will surely conquer us. Let us, as families, as groups and individuals, pray together so that we may remain united to overcome the tricks and the weapons of the enemy. God bless you.